yes, that's my new channel. My name is, well, just call me Leon. But my m my Roblox name is Leon One, and soon I'll have some other friends coming. Friends like Freddy the Spaghetti, Yeet Lord, and I guess Sonic is the best. No, no, that that that's one of my friends. Her name is Sonic is the best. And yeah, this is my new YouTube channel called Meoni. But it's Neoni, like Neoni. That's how you pronounce it, okay? So, uh, yeah, I just got this YouTube channel. I haven't even designed any banners or anything. Because, um, if you go to YouTube, and you go to me, yes, I, I watch tutorials. Just, just ignore that. I haven't even designed anything, and I have no content. This is a sneak peek of what my channel is. Yes, 9th of December. I wanted to get it from like years back, but I couldn't. Until now. So yeah, now I can get my channel. And this is my, this is basically my channel now. I will basically just post videos. I want to get to 50 subscribers so I can start li doing live streams. I, I do have a blob on my head, and that that was random. But um, yeah, this game is called Destroy the Ship that we that I'm gonna be playing today, and yeah, that that was my channel. So this is the channel. Just to recap, this is my channel, Neoni, and I'm gonna be playing Roblox, maybe some BTD six. And some Minecraft, maybe a few other games. With my friends, Freddy the Spaghetti, Sonic is the Best, and Yeet Lord. So that will be fun. And I have a few other friends as well. But those are my main ones that are going to be appearing in my videos. So everyone, let's play some Destroy the Ship. My, well, I need to sort my inventory. Because that's what I normally do. I don't need to sort it, but... But I'll, I'll give you a little tutorial, if you say so. So you open your inventory up, then you put the spawn ship over here, put the spawn airplane, then the private server controls. If you like, you can switch it up. I normally like to switch this up. Then you can put the new key and you can put the rename it tool here. Oh, and quick tutorial of where the nuke is. It used to be, it used to be down here in a hole, but it's gone. I think I know where it is. I think it's in here. And yeah, it's next to the stairs. That's where it is. That's the nuke. And I'll show you what all these things do. This is the regen coil well no it's the it's it's the the the, the dual coil basically no it, it's it's the fusion coil okay and you can walk like that and you can jump infinitely high so that's cool then there's lizard's laser gun which basically it's just a laser gun if i activate it and go over there then you can see it explodes. Then there's the big bomb. Oh, and there's a magic wand as well. Which you can teleport anywhere that you click. There's the big bomb, which basically does the same thing as Lazard's laser bomb. Except it's really big. So that's what it did. Then there's the teleporter tool, which you can teleport anywhere to anything. So how about like teleport to the carrier alarm see and then there's the nuke gun the nuke gun is basically just a bigger version of all the other guns it's powerful and destroys like everything then you have the magic carpet 
which is pretty self-explanatory. Just fly around on a magic carpet. Then you have the spawn ship, which if you click activate over here, spawns a ship. Except it might be in land if you don't. It, it, it might be on land if you don't like watch where you're putting it. So that just spawns ships. There's the there's the jet which spawns jets. The jets are pretty good. They can, they're the best planes in the game actually. And they can destroy things very fast. Like look at this. Yes, I didn't get all the way through, but I split it in half. Which is, that's pretty good for just one plane, splitting a whole carrier in half. So, then there's the private server control. Which, if you want simple, you can choose simple, but complex, I would say, is way better. So you click compact, complex, when you're starting a server. Then you have the basic controls. Regenerate, clears everything, and spawns a ship. Reset, clears all ships, debris, and anything in the ship spawn area, and spawns a new ship. Clear debris, clears all debris, including destroyed slash disabled vehicles and ships and fire, and sh and ships and fire. That didn't make sense. I well, well, I'm not good at grammar, so I don't know. There's clear all ships and clear all vehicles. Pretty self-explanatory. And the description of this is some of the most basic and useful controls. They're very useful. The ship setting. So you can choose which ship you want to do, so you select it. You can clear all, open ship settings, which does this, and basically you can do all that. And you can also select no ship, random ship, So and select this ship, which is pretty useful. Then there's the map manager. You have ocean, which is just this one, islands, which... You get a bunch of islands. There's allied island, which you get a big island. There's giant island, which you get an even bigger island. There's islands plus giant island, so you get a bunch of islands around plus the giant island. You get allied island plus giant island, which pretty self-explanatory. There's the capitalist headquarters, which is the, basically just pretty self-explanatory as well. The capitalist help headquarters and you can read the descriptions if you want there's the princess headquarters which is also pretty self-explanatory all faction headquarters which is pretty self-explanatory all faction headquarters plus giant island and there's giant island all structures loaded which is just giant island with a bunch of cities and then there's the preset manager which i don't know it, it doesn't really do much that well, it does much, but you don't really need to do anything with it to play normally and do stuff. Same with most of the things here. I just don't like the preset manager for some reason. Tell me in the comments if, what it does. So there's Wolf Island, Candy Island. You can go to all the different islands with this. Well, you can, can you can do stuff with all the different islands with the structure manager. You can reset all structures, clear all structures, reset this structure, or remove the structure. Then there's other tool manager. You have the airstrike. It's basically all the tools in your inventory, which you can you can unequip them and you can ban them. There's the PVP tool manager, which is basically the exact same thing except with different like PVP weapons. There's basic settings again, but that's ba it's, it's basic settings, not basic controls. Which you can turn like auto disable, which determines if your vehicles stop working, if they receive enough damage or not, which I normally turn to false. And yeah, it basically just destroys the breeze of this one. So this is an anti lag one, but you don't need it. There's hosting settings, which I don't really use much, but you can read and all that and you can read stuff i will just do this there's weapon settings which yeah you can turn the explosion damage and all that 
is tool settings, which is basically the exact same. There's player PvP settings, which is just PvP settings. There's part damage settings, which you can have like armor and all that. It's yeah, and there's teleporter settings, which controls the teleporter tool. You see in my inventory, this one. There is spawner settings, which basically just makes you be able to limit things from spawning and make things spawn. Advanced settings, which you can do a bunch of fun things and play with things like, let's say, default size. If I typed a hundred in here, and then I reset my character, I would be a hundred times bigger. And it makes you very laggy and very big. And I think that it's weird. Especially being this big. I died. Somehow. But my head is massive. And I'm alive. So basically you can just fly. As well. I'm just going to be in the void for the rest of this. Well. I can't because I'm too big. Yeah, that's what all the things do. And I'm also... So this basically can delete anything except for people. The C4 bomb is just a bomb that you can click, time its explosion and, and tell it when to explode, basically. This is just a worse teleport tool, just teleporting to Eagle Wolf Island. There's the sit tool, which can make you sit down, basically just like that. There's the money sign tool, which you could literally just drop money in the ocean. Don't hide that in real life, unless you want to lose money. There's the invisibility cape, which is pretty self-explanatory. Makes you invisible. There's guided missile, which you can activate a guided missile. And look, they're going towards where, yep, they just exploded. There is a guided missile, which is basically the exact same, but you can guide it. There's explosive dumbbells, just a big explosion, explosive dumbbell. There's a chair that you can sit on. It's basically a chair spawner. There's a compass, which is kind of useful. It shows you how fast you're going, your position of the map. It's basically Minecraft. Then you have a cannon, which is basically just Lizar's laser bomb, but with a cannon. There's binoculars, which are actually really cool. They let you see super close in. So that's the water over there. And that... Stay off the lawn, we mean it. That's from... All the way over here. I'm reading stay off the lawn, I we mean it. Yeah, I read that from Wolf Island, when it wasn't even my render, so the binoculars are pretty useful. Then there's the airstrike, which pretty self-explanatory, sends an airstrike down. It's the renaming tool, which I, I, I don't know what it does. Teleporter tool, basically better to teleport to Wolf Island. You can teleport to any island, plus anything that you have made. You have server controls, basically just controlling everything there's the there's the jet the s private server owner jet which you only have these things if you're a private server owner not all of them just these three and the spawn ship basically the exact same there's this which you can set your current faction to a different thing it's just like capitalists and you can set it to dentists and then you can have, like, the nuke. Now, this is just the big, the big nuke. It, it, I, I told you about it before, but it's basically just a massive nuke. And I just jumped, and I'm not falling down for some reason. Oh, there I am. But the nuke is pretty self-explanatory. Did that. Yeah. I, yeah. It's normally pretty big. So yeah. 
that's basically my description of destroy the ship and my channel so just a quick recap my channel is neoni i'll be playing vtv6 roblox and minecraft maybe some other games if people recommend it and i'll be playing with my friends freddy the spaghetti yeet lord and sonic is the best so yeah that's all for this video and bye everyone yes i'm on ipad so bye everyone epic Gamer Neoni. Yeah, I, I'm Neoni. So bye everyone. I'm Neoni. That should be like a song at the end. Epic Gamer Gamer Gamer. Epic. Playing Roblox. So yeah, that was the entire video. If you're still watching, I'm surprised because I'm probably really boring. If you're still watching, I'm surprised like very surprised if you skip ahead to this point then uh, if, if you're what if, if you're seeing this because well you're hearing this because you skipped ahead then bad punishment is to subscribe well you don't have to but subscribe so um yeah that's the end and it's the end of the video basically so yeah bye everyone Is it the end? Yeah, I haven't clicked it yet, I know. So, um, bye everyone.